have created brushes that work like magic. These are not ordinary brushes. I'm about to show you how you can use them. Now just keep in mind these only work for Photoshop CC versions, Creative Cloud. Unfortunately, because of the way that they're created, they do not work on earlier versions. So let's get started. I have for you to start with a light foliage brush. Now, when you click on it and when you use it, one of the amazing things is it is actually creating foliage. If you look at this as it builds up and look at the texture in there, that is real foliage. That is actually foliage that I've photographed and I have turned into a brush. So no longer do you have to place foliage there. If you're trying to build up foliage around the edge of something or add to it, all you need to do is use this brush. You can alter the look of what you've done by using layers and, and layer adjustments and color blending modes and all sorts of things, but straight out of the box, you've got these amazing textures. Bush Magic, very much like light foliage. It's just a much so more solid version of it. And you can see all of the leaves and the texture. Now this is a never ending brush. There are no seams, there's no crossovers. You can just keep working with it as far as you go. The next one is Concrete Splatter. Now this particular one really works amazingly as a texture. Now you can use it to make it look like concrete, but if you use this as a texture over something else, this will create an amazing look and it's very easy just to very quickly paint a texture in the area that you desire. A few of the other brushes work like this as well, so they can be textures or they can be used on their own. Let's just say you have an image that you'd like to add some texture to, you can actually just paint it on. And then you just need to change the overlay mode. So the best ones for textures are overlay, soft light and hard light. I'm going to go with overlay just so you can see it. And if you can see, I'm actually painting in the texture just where I want it. So sometimes when you add a texture, you need to mask it back. In this case, you can sort of paint on the texture where you want it and you can add different textures, you can build it up. So if I change to cracks up here, which also works really well over here. So it creates cracks and you can have cracks on the ground, but you can also use cracks as a texture. So if I go and create a new layer here, I'll make that overlay mode and I wanna create some cracks on the wall up here. You can see those cracks appearing. A really great way of adding a texture and not having to go away and find something. The same goes for Rusty, which can create a rust-like texture on your image. And if you want to see what that looks like, it's a continuous texture that will just keep on going. Another one called Texturize is sort of a blotchy, very interesting pattern. And you could decide to run that over your image. Let's go to overlay mode and paint this texturized pattern onto the areas that you want texture. One that I really, really love is fur. Now we've already got fur on the dog here. If I use this fur brush, I can create more fur and the texture that I need. If I want to expand the fur out, you can do that. But you can see the color is one sort of set color. So all you need to do to change your color tone with this brush is to change the layer and change it so that you clip a new layer to it, create a clipping mask, change that to color mode. And just using a normal brush, you can pull the color from the area that you want and just paint it onto the fur there. You can then go ahead and sort of blend out areas that you don't want and leave areas that you do in much the same way that you would with anything else. But this can actually also add texture. If we lost some of the texture in that dog's fur and we wanted to kind of add some extra texture to that as fur, we could get our fur brush, paint it in, 
And then again, change the blending mode. So if you use something like screen, it'll be a bit lighter, or multiply, it'll be a bit darker. One of the good ones might be soft light. And you can tone that down later as well. So that's another way of using the fur brush. We also have brown wool, which looks like this. You can see it's a never ending brown wool texture. It can be added to anything that might have a similar sort of feel. You again can use it to texturize something that's lost its texture. So if you had some fur or wool kind of look that you needed to add texture, you could do so and change the blending mode to create more texture and more impact. The final one in this pack is Grassy Reed. Now, one of the reasons that I've created this is because often you need to add grass somewhere. Now, usually not inside, although I'm demonstrating with this image, so I'm gonna show you how it works. But this, I've just grown some grass there on the image. Now in this case, that area of the image is darker and the grass is quite bright. So all you would do is either create a curves or levels adjustment layer, clip it and sort of play with the curves until you sort of get the matching look that you want. So this is the first set of magic brushes. There are nine in this set and they are a great base to add to your compositing. I'll be adding new brushes like this in the future and giving you a whole lot more control over your compositing.